Smart Lock presents the Rhinode range of products, a new concept for underground chambers utilized in utility infrastructure and telecommunication networks. So why do we need underground chambers in these networks? And what are the challenges faced by companies operating infrastructure in these environments today? Well, chambers are utilized at intermediate locations within underground pipe and duct networks as access points for maintenance purposes, points of expansion on existing infrastructure, and points where interconnectivity is achieved within copper cable and optic fiber communication networks. These networks are distributed across our entire planet and are located in some of the harshest and unprotected environments, being exposed to the elements and to ever-increasing criminal activities. Historically, chambers have been constructed from concrete, bricks and mortar, and ductile or cast iron to provide ample protection to expensive and crucial utility services. However, these traditional materials are heavy, difficult to handle, and have scrap metal value that attracts criminal activities. In addition, they are costly to transport, to warehouse, and difficult to ensure that a quality solution is provided when the chambers themselves are constructed on site. So how does the Rhinode range of products change this? Well, ultimately through their unique design concept, construction, and material composition. Each complete unit is manufactured from a specific class of glass-reinforced polyester material known as Sheet Molded Compound, or SMC for short. This material has been utilized in the automotive and many other industries as a metal replacement for many years due to its enhanced strength and proven performance parameters. It is also non-recyclable, therefore has absolutely no scrap value. It is UV stabilized in its natural form and also does not burn. It does not corrode, is water resistant and immune to acidic soil and therefore also able to withstand the elements in the harshest conditions. The material is flexible and through our unique and very specific formulations provides exceptional strength and load-bearing capabilities. The design concept is an optimization of material and dimensions to exceed the structural requirements in a flexible package which meets all the user requirements for this application. The chamber consists of four quarter side panels and a base, which are optimized for ease of transportation, handling and assembly on site. It is cylindrical in shape to maximize the internal space and structural strength of the unit. The top section consists of a coping which is bolted onto the chamber and a removable access lid which is mechanically locked and can also be electronically controlled for remote access management. The duct entries on the base of the unit are user configured on site depending on the specific interconnection requirement. A multitude of standard industry duct sizes are supported by the chambers. The units also support both fixed and split entries, the latter vertically and horizontally, allowing them to be installed over existing duct routes already in the ground for ongoing expansion of existing networks. Additional holes may be cut or drilled in the side panels and additional expansion sections of side panels may be bolted onto the chamber to accommodate specific site conditions related to depth variations and various duct entry configurations of existing networks. Both the raw material and finished product are produced in a fully ISO 9001 accredited manufacturing facility. The manufacturing process starts with the manufacturing of the raw material. This consists of a combination of several resins and fillers together with specific glass fibers. These fibers are arranged horizontally in layers and the raw material is therefore produced in sheets. After curing the material, it is ready for production, but will first undergo a certification test to validate that the required strength has been achieved. This is done through a quality controlled snap test on a sample from each batch produced. It then moves to the production area, where the SMC sheets are precision cut to layer the molds for compression molding. The molds are heated and the compression molding is done at between 200 and 800 tons of pressure, depending on the product size and thickness, ensuring a precision and consistent product. Once the product has been ejected from the mold, it is fettled, finished and inspected for final assembly and packaging. 
Sample testing is effected on each production batch to ensure that every unit produced is in compliance with specific strength requirements. For this reason, internal test facilities are located on-site and are used daily for this purpose. The product is packaged in high-strength corrugated carton boxes and palletized to ensure it can easily be transported over large distances without damage and will be received in the same condition as it left the factory. Palletizing also ensures that more than double the volume of units can be transported at less than half the weight when compared to conventional products. It also allows for standard handling and dispatch management of the goods at intermediate locations, simplifying the entire logistic chain from factory to installation on site. Individual units are assembled on site utilizing an assembly kit provided, which has been designed to be quick, reliable and easy. The base plate is located in the excavated hole on a 50mm bed of river sand. The four quarter panels are located on the base plate and aligned to the outside of the locating ring. These are secured with two quick installation plugs on each panel. The side panels are locked together with snap clips, which secure and lock the side panels in place. The 160mm duct covers are knocked onto the four duct entries to fully lock the unit together and secure its structural form. The duct entries are then configured for a specific connectivity requirement by knocking out and removing the inner sealed portion on the required entries. A drainage hole can also be cut out on the base plate should drainage be required. Once the ducts have been installed and secured, the slack brackets are installed, as well as the required mounting brackets for fibre splice management enclosures. The top frame and coping section is secured with stainless steel shear nuts. The lid is inserted and secured before surface is reinstated up to the side of the coping. The unit is now ready for population with the required cable and splice closures. Units are handled entirely by hand, as no individual component weighs more than 30 kilograms. Once fully assembled, a complete Rhinode 1000 unit weighs less than 100 kilograms. There is therefore no need for specific lifting equipment on site and units are handled manually within occupational health and safety requirements. There are three different size units within the product range, a large, medium and small unit to cater for the different network requirements. These are 1000mm, 600mm and 300mm deep units. There is also a top section available for existing chambers as a retrofit solution, with an entry lid of 700mm diameter. All units are provided with the required accessories to effectively manage the interconnectivity requirements in high-capacity modern communication networks. This includes cable slack storage management, as well as splice closure location and cable routing. The large unit has been designed to accommodate the interconnection of over 1,000 individual optic fibers, which can be accommodated in four separate splice closures. All units are load certified at accredited certification laboratories for the different application areas. They have also been extensively tested for their resilience to physical abuse related to criminal activity. The units are supplied with a mechanical locking mechanism, which utilizes a high security key to prevent any unauthorized access. The medium and large units can in addition be supplied with the gridlock access management system. This system introduces an additional electronic locking capability of the unit to manage access from any given location and can monitor and control activity in the network in real time. It will also automatically discover the geographic location of these chambers as they are placed in the network and has a unique RFID code associated with each chamber. This provides the additional benefit of creating a complete inventory record of all access points within a network. The system can also be expanded to manage access to individual splice closures with the use of electronic seals where this may be required. The cost benefits of utilizing the Rhinode product range are widespread over the entire life cycle of the network. If one however only includes the direct benefits on the cost of creating new infrastructure then it would relate to an approximate saving of 20% in the initial installed cost when compared to conventional products. These savings relate to transportation, 
inventory management and handling costs. The overall saving, however, increases dramatically over time, with improved life expectancy as a result of improved security, as well as the scalability of the complete solution as networks expand. The Rhinode range of products, providing a solution for sustainable infrastructure creation in our ever-advancing world of technology.